How's it going guys? Flickfy here with episode 75, my York City career mode. Really excited to bring this one out for you guys because this is the 75th episode, so that's kind of a big deal. And we also have our first international matches with the Belgium team. And those matches are friendlies and I do simulate them, but still it's kind of cool to see how the squad's going to stack up against a couple decent opponents. And speaking of our opponents, we are playing matches against Mexico and the United States. So the first match is against Mexico and like I said, I'm going to be simulating it. And there you can check out our star 11 as well as Mexico starting 11. 11. You might recognize a couple names, including Achoa, in the net for them. So we do go ahead and lose this first match, which isn't a big deal, except for the fact we do lose Vermalen to an injury. He's going to be out for about four weeks with a broken elbow, but luckily for us, we have enough depth in the team that we can go ahead and swap him out with Jan Vertonghen, who is a very capable player. The only thing I don't like about him is his high attacking work rates, but that's not too big of a deal. So we swap him out, and we are all set in the starting 11, and I move Menteke into the substitutes. Don't really know why he wasn't in the starting 11 or the substitutes but he is there now so that's the important thing and we do have one more match against the United States here so we go ahead and, and simulate this one and this result is a little bit better we go ahead and get this win and once the score shows up here we do get the 1-0 victory and it was De Bruyne who got the winning goal for us I think he's a Werder Bremen center attacking mid if I'm not mistaken so we do go get a win there and that's a nice bit of a morale booster for the squad and hopefully we can move that into some important matches and not just friendlies so here we're going to move into the York City aspect of this career mode and we have our first match against Newcastle United in the Barclays Premier League and Newcastle is kind of a tricky opponent they started the, off really well in the seasons uh, I think they were near the top place like early on the season but since then they've kind of dropped down to the eighth place position but it was Debussy who nearly got a goal for them I think he's a right back and he's a French right back but we go into halftime with a nil nil draw so no real action after that one and it's gonna be Ferguson who's gonna start things off for Newcastle here in around the 60th minute we do go ahead and clear this one until Nelson Olivier gets it on the volley there and it's kind of cool to see him there in the Barclays Premier League. Obviously, he is a Portugal striker. I think he plays in the Ligue BBVA, if I'm not mistaken, in the current time. But Gabriel Cisse, or Papa Cisse, I don't know why I said Gabriel, gets the goal in the 90th minute to seal things for them. And they get the 2-0 victory against us at home. So that was a tough loss. And we are on a bit of a losing streak right now, guys. We haven't gotten a win in quite a while. So that's a little unfortunate for us. Uh, but that does seem to happen in most of my career mode seasons. You know, it happened last year and it will likely happen this year. But on the bright side, we do find a player, Tyrell Morgan, who looks to be a bit of a beast, 67 and 94. Uh, potential and we find another guy who has up to 87 potential so we're going to sign both those guys and hopefully they do turn out to be as good as I think they will be and we're going to go with a little bit more simulation and get our second scouting report here from the United States and to be honest guys I kind of put them there just because you know it is my home country and I thought we might be able to find some players but before we go into that, we're going to go into the FA Cup match against Fulham. And Fulham is a team that we should be winning against here, guys. They are not a great squad, and they are not doing too well in the league. So this is a no excuse for us to go ahead and end this losing streak. And we go right into the FA Cup match after the highlights here. Chikuchi gets the first opportunity for us, but Stockdale was a beast in this match, guys. Their, their defense holds strong, doesn't even give up a corner kick out of it, and it's going to be their team who gets the attack here, Rodagela or whatever, gets it to another guy whose name I cannot pronounce, and they get the opening goal in the 34th, 31st minute, and they really go into halftime with a 1-0 lead, so at this point, I really had to start motivating the team. Dos Santos gets a little bit lucky to keep the ball there, and has a nice strike, but that one is just wide the net. I think that was going in if that was on target, but it's going to be Chikuchi who gets the opportunity later on the match. He's going to try to sweat it across, but it's going to be Stockdale who makes a great save on his near post, but it falls to De Silva. De Silva looks for the guy on the far side, but he is off sides. I think it was Morante. Later, later on the match, 78th minute here, Chikuchi gets another opportunity on the breakaway, finds De Silva. De Silva sees two guys in the center, looks for Morante, but what a save by Stockdale. He was just a monster for uh, Fulham in throughout this match, and they get the 1-0 victory, so we're kicked out of the FA Cup, which is just really tough for us. Can't seem to get do that well in the cup matches for us, and it's a little bit weird. But here we finally get into the U.S. players, and two really nice players, 85 potential and 92 potential. So we're going to continue to scout the 85 potential and sign the 92 potential guy. And at this point, I will go to the press, and we're going to try to motivate the squad. I usually don't do this, and I'm not really sure what difference it makes, but hopefully it does make a difference because we have a big match here against Manchester United. We're sitting a little bit under us at the seventh place position. A little bit bad for them, to be honest, guys. You should consider Manchester United has got to be one of the top teams and should at least be in the top four. But we're going to go right into the match and check out the league table after two consecutive losses. 
And right now we are sitting just above Manchester United. So a big match for us. And if we can at least get a draw, we will stay ahead of them. But, you know, the team that Manchester United is, they are a passing team. And Anderson is going to get the opening goal for them in the ninth minute. And here later on the match, Valencia has got to set in across. But a good save there by Dos Santos. I think they beat Joe Jerome there. But luckily, we do go ahead and go down the counter. Kind there. Morante is going to find Sorrentino later in the match in the 39th minute. So a really action-packed first half. He's going to have a shot off, but De Gea makes a good save. And that one is out for a corner kick. And last chance here in the last in the first half. It's going to be Butner, the left back I believe he is for them. And Solgago does go ahead and get a shot off. But we do clear this one out, and it goes out for a goal kick. And we go into halftime right there. So we're down 1-0 at halftime, which is a little unfortunate for us. But we do have an opportunity to go ahead and get the victory here. De Silva is going to get the opportunity, and he's going to look at another shot. It's going to be Ivan, our right back, who's all the way up the pitch. He's going to get a lucky rebound off De Gea's miss. And we finally tie things up at 1-1. One one. Henley here is going to sweat this one across, find Sorrentino, and De Gea kind of punches it into his own net. And we get the lead there, actually, in the 59th minute. But unfortunately, Manchester United comes back on the counter attack here. Anderson sends it across, and it's going to be Sol Gago who goes ahead and gets the tying goal. And I just had to look at a second. Soldado and Gago combined. It's kind of ironic. They both play for the same club, and you get Sol Gago. So I thought that was kind of funny. Had to throw that out for you guys. And we do get the draw there against Manchester United. So if you guys want to say that does break the losing streak against a good team. And that will bring an end to the episode with the three full matches. So hope you guys did enjoy the episode. If you did, a like and a comment is always appreciated. Anyways, this has been FlickFi. I'll talk to you guys again soon.